Hey, all my worthy viewers, it's me, JD Review Master, and today I am talking about the movie In the Loop, and here uh, to talk about it with me because we did an episode on his channel about British comedies is Rob from Robbie's Reviews. Take it away, Rob. Hello, Justin. Yes, it's me, Robbie from Robbie's Reviews, and I'm talking about In the Loop. This is a political British comedy film based on the TV show The Thick of It. This stars Peter Capaldi as the spin doctor for the British Prime Minister, and he's got to deal with the U.S. relations that the U.K. has. This also stars Tom Holland and James Gandolfini, who also shine in their own way. And this movie is all about the performances and the dialogue. This is directed. This is directed by a great director, Armando Carbonaps of that mate. Inucci. In Inucci, he also made Veep and the David Copperfield film, and also another favourite uh, British comedy film of mine, Death of Stalin. But today we're talking about In the Loop. I'm going to rate this one a 3.5 star. I think this has a really good script and some really good performances. I don't like how they they got to tie in with the with the uh, US and the UK relations and not show sides of the UK and the US that we don't know. I'm not much of a political guy. I don't know much about politics. I have my own opinion on politics. But you've got to kind of be more into politics and like this kind of film. And that's why I'm only giving it a 3.5 star rating. Uh, what did you think of this, Justin? Uh, yeah, I'm the same way. When it comes to pol politics and political stuff, I'm not the person to talk to about that. I just don't. Uh, I don't have an opinion about it, and uh, you know, it's always argumentative. People, that's like one of the things that people argue argue over is politics and uh, their religion, right? Uh, but uh, you know, this is this is a really fun, funny movie. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, you know, um, Peter Capaldi sort of steals the show. I mean, he's very, you know, um, he's by the book, but he's uh, very much, uh, you know, the one that's like making sure everyone's doing their stuff they're supposed to be doing. But his dialogue is just amazing. Like everything he spits out of his mouth is, you know, very much gold. Uh, yeah, James Gandolfini plays the sort of general or lieutenant in this movie, and he's, um, yeah, he's fine. Uh, Zach Woods is in this, who's uh, in The Office, which this movie very much has an office sort of feel to it. You know, it, it's not a uh, documentary style, but it, I mean, it's the styling of it, but it's you know, know that there's cameras around. Uh, also, um, uh, Anna Klumski is in this movie, who she's she's Veda and My Girl, which is one of the greatest movies. Uh, very, very much a classic. But yeah, Tom Hollander is also fun in this movie. Yeah, it, it's a witty comedy. Very, yeah, very, you know, uh, uh, British. Uh, but uh, it, it was fun. I'm I'm glad we watched it. It, it might have made the list on the comedies from from last week um, if if I had seen it before. But uh, yeah, it's it's just it's just fun. I mean, it's one it's it's stuff that we we see nowadays. Uh, but um, yeah, this had great, great writing. It was nominated for, for an Oscar for Best Screenplay uh, in 2010. Uh, this is a 2009 movie, and, and I, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, this one sort of has surpassed uh, my gaze uh, when it comes to the film world, but when we did do uh, research for British comedies, this one came up a lot. Even in the comedies, uh, Best Comedies of All Time, this one came up a lot. So it is definitely... Definitely worthy of the view. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give it uh, a WT and a half for its writing is, is pretty much the reason why I'd give it. The characters are great. And um, yeah, it, w it went down smooth. It was an easy watch. Uh, what are your final thoughts on In the Loop? I do want to watch the Thick of It TV show to understand more, more the content behind it. But for a political comedy, I would say this is well written. Yeah, yeah. Better than the campaign? Yeah, better than the campaign. Yeah, so one for the British there. Uh, yeah, great. So check this out. It's on AMC Plus here if you have that uh, channel, but uh, you can also rent it for a small fee on iTunes, I believe. Uh, thanks for coming on, Rob. As always, I love chatting movies with you, and tell people where they can find you. You can find me on my website, Rob. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter. And you can find me on TikTok, where tomorrow I talk about, I rank my uh, August watches. 
Well, it might not be tomorrow, but uh, just go check it out, and uh, because it could be in the, the this is going to come out in a few days. So it, uh, your list is already well, on there. So go check well, it out. Hoping to join you back in. Hopefully, I think this be September when this airs. But obviously, I'm hoping to join you back. What we talked about, uh, Netflix is blonde. Oh no, yeah, I guess it has to come out tomorrow because it's the last day. So yeah, this will be out on the last day of August for sure. So yes, it can't, you're, go check out his first time takes uh, where he talks about his favorite August movies. And yeah, we'll see you next month where we talk Blonde, the new Anna de Armas movie, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yes, yeah. like that's what cool. I've been paying for all year. Yes, very much so. Thank you everybody for viewing. Uh, thanks for this uh, coming on. Rob, as always, and um, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.